they range from 4 inches to 100 feet long. And they travel very fast. They travel at a speed that is impossible to see with the human eye. But modern equipment, like digital cameras can detect them. Some speculate they are extraterrestrial beings. Some believe they are creatures from right here on Earth. Skeptics believe they are an effect of the camera lens, or defects, in the videotape, or motion blurred objects. Tell us what you think. Rods? Are they fact, or fiction? Cast your vote now. at a car impound lot in Oklahoma, saw a ghost on the surveillance monitor. The ghostly figure appeared to circle around the cars. It was all caught on tape. The woman told another worker to go and check it out. I said there wasn't nobody back there. The wind was still that night. Um, our alarm was on, so nobody jumps the fence back there. Three vehicles on the lot that night were involved in fatal accidents. Could it be the mysterious figure was one of those spirits searching for its car? This story has been covered by major news outlets. Do we finally have proof that ghosts exist? Or is it just wishful thinking? Cast your vote now. Hard to say when El Chupacabra, which means goat, sucker in Spanish, was first spotted, but it is known that this unearthly creature was first seen in Puerto Rico. People in rural areas claim to be awoken out of deep sleep by the pain screeches of their pets and livestock. Residents would find the bodies of their animals lifeless and drained of all bodily fluids. Only those unlucky people who went out during the night to inspect the sound had any idea of what kind of beast was responsible for the horrific scene. Chupacabra was first reported in Puerto Rico, but reports have recently spread as far north as Massachusetts. This modern monster has also been seen in the American Southwest and parts of Asia, Central America and New Zealand. It is suggested that the beast flies and swims his way to his next destination. There is no telling how many there are in the world, but reports have continued to grow in the past few years. All we can say is, keep your animals, and small children, indoors. Tell us what you think. Stay tuned. After the credits, we'll reveal the viewer poll results.